the Neptune Investments handicap is next. This is a 0 to 90. And at the top, we've got One True Faith for Leon Van Rensburg. Agador Spartacus for John Morgan. Coastal Bluff, Kevin Meehan, Beyond the Grave. Joshua Sutherland, Sky Surfers, Cavalino, David Robertson, Spring into Action, Craig Beckwith, Sir Gilderoy, Patrick Hogan, Initial Fern, Derek Hinton, National Guard, Obi Wan, Ortia Given, Matt Cooper, Jenis Ritter, a three timer for Martin Lidham, Global Empire, Craig Beckwith, Clotted Domo, CDJ Liggett, Let Loose, Obi Wan, Gilderoy Ward, Patrick Hogan, and Kume Satyam, Marble Arch, Daniel French, Ritvar, Martin Lidham, Escort Zafonk for. Graham Clutterbuck, Rings of Kitty, Stu Gray, Still Me Intrepid, CD Jagger, Genk for Satyam, Lion Star, Alex Cherry's also got Ruby Swirl, Timberora McGrew, Matt Cooper, and Zafra Nagor de Moore for Thomas Rogers. Massive field for this. And there'll be some hard luck stories, you can be sure they're away and racing. If you're drawn right out wide, you're going to be in a spot of bother. Leon's horse, the top weight, is right out wide. It'll be a miracle if that one can win from wide out there. But anyway, it's Agador Spartacus and Marble Archer are disputing the lead, and Marble Archer is now going to come across and take it up. So Marble Arch has got the lead and is going to get across to the fence as well, and leads by three or four lengths. Beyond the Grave is in second, and then Agador Spartacus after that one. So Leon Van Rensburg, John Morgan, I think, or maybe, maybe John Morgan, maybe somebody else using his colours. Um, but I want to say Joshua Sutherland and Leon Van Rensburg, both in noughts and 90s, but it's Marble Arch in the lead then. My bat five or six lengths two in second place coastal bluff then let loose zafra and agador more after that one then ruby swirl agador spartacus is next timberora mcgrew is just the back marker at this point but marble arch is clear of all the shenanigans and shuffling about at the moment they're about seven or eight wide on the track but it's Marble Arch who's got the lead and is clear of all the danger. From all tier given in second. Let loose his third. Agador Spartacus, Global Empire, Zafra and Moore is after that one. Then Coastal Bluff, Ruby Swirl, and then the Rings of Kitty trying to get going as well. Looking to the back, Silmi Intrepid is now the back marker also. Towards the back is the horse going for a three-timer, Janice Rissa. But it's Marble Arch who's got the lead and leads by three or four lengths to Global Empire in second. Rings of Kitty is in third. Then comes all tier given a National Guard, Zafra and the more after that one. Let Loose is still there as well. So too is Beyond the Grave. Gilderoy Wald and River are trying to get into it. Janice Rissa is now the back marker under pressure. But it's Marble Arch who's got the lead. Marble Arch past the four pole in front from Sir Gilderoy. who's now gone into second. Global Empire is third. Agador Spartacus rings a kitty. is still in there as well. Let Loose and Beyond the Grave. National Guard all to you given. Coastal Bluff. Plenty of mid chances. River trying to come through with a bit of a run as well. But it's still Marble Arch in front with two and a half to go. Marble Arch from Sir Gilderoy. National Guard is next. Then comes Let Loose. River is still making ground. Then Coastal Bluff. Agador Spartacus. One true faith. The top weight is making ground on the outside amazingly. But it's Marble Arch who's still in the lead. Coming down towards the final furlong. Marble Arch in front. Sir Gilderoy. National Guard. Global Empire. Agador Spartacus. It's still wide open. But Marble Arch is the one they've got to get by. There's half a furlong to go. Here comes Global Empire. And Global Empire swoops to take it up. And Global Empire is pulling away from the rest of them. And takes it from Let Loose. Beyond the ground. Agador Spartacus. Initial furlong was never nearer than at the finish and Ruby Swirl might have been last so maybe one or two hard luck stories in that for horses who were running wide a lot of the way but Global Empire worked his way through nicely to take it for Craig Beckwith beyond the grave for Joshua Sutherland somehow got through to second from stall 24 and the third place horse will come back to us in a minute I'm sure I hope. There we go. Third was Let Loose for Obi-Wan. Agador Spartacus for John Morgan was fourth. And Marble Arch for Daniel French was fifth.